Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Food My Life and since National Day is around the corner, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this photo-worthy feast which is inspired by local favourite dishes. And I guarantee you it's going to be delicious and also really impressive for your guests and family members. So watch the video to find out how to do it. The dishes that we'll be making today will be chicken rice canapes, chilli crab sauce dinosaur as well as bandung jello. For the chicken rice canapes, we start off with the chicken rice and I'm going to be using this pre-mix and I've tried this, it's pretty good and also uh, inside the packet comes with all these little like sachets of like chilli sauce, ginger sauce and sesame oil, everything you need for chicken rice. I've used this pre-mix so I thought it was a lot easier and these are the rest of the ingredients that you'll need for the canapes. While the chicken rice is cooking, you can start by slicing the cucumber into thin slices. Now that my chicken rice is done, I'm going to leave it to cool for a bit and then once it's cooled, I'm going to roll them into small little bite-sized chicken rice balls like this. And I'll be using a cling wrap because uh, you won't have to wash your hands, you'll keep your hands clean. So I'm just going to do it like that. Just get a scoop. You might have to like try on your own how big a scoop you need to fit on top of your cucumber. You don't want it to be too small such that it looks very stingy. But at the same time, you don't want it to be too big because it'll roll over and it'll look like not so dainty. Now comes the fun part where you assemble the chicken rice canapes. And I've laid the cucumber slices out nicely on my serving plate. And then I have the chicken rice balls which we rolled earlier. The coriander chilli sauce for the garnishing and decoration. And also the chicken shreds which I have tossed in sesame oil for more like legit taste. So all you have to do is just place the chicken rice balls onto the cucumber slices. Next, we'll be doing the chilli crab sauce dinosaur and for the chilli crab sauce, I'm also using a pre-mix. I've used this before, it's very easy to use and gives like a very legit restaurant taste. And these are the other ingredients that you'll need. Now we're going to cut the bread and I'm going to cut it into slices but you don't want to cut all the way down because you want the bread to remain intact. So what you do is, you can cut very strongly at the front and then when you reach the end, just release upwards. How thick you should cut the slices depends on how much sauce you want because I'm very greedy and I want a lot of sauce all the way in so I'm cutting it pretty deep. But it's also quite risky because you might just cut off the entire piece. Now I'm just going to stuff the sauce in with a spoon. So what you do is just peel out the side. Each layer, just put a... Depending on how much sauce you want. You just spread the centre like how you do for butter on bread. Now that it's done, we're just going to sprinkle it with some chopped up chives. This is why we call it a chili crab sauce dinosaur because from the top view, when you look at it, it looks like a little small dinosaur which is like overflowing with cheese and it feels very shook. Can't wait to eat it. For the bandung jello, all you need is a bandung drink of your choice and then you add some agar powder into it and then just wait for the mixture to boil. Mm. 
Now that our bandung jello has solidified, we're going to decorate it and I'm going to use some milk. Just pour a small little layer over it. Okay. And then put some whipped cream on it. Followed by some crushed almonds. Just sprinkle a bit on top. And then top it off with a piece of mint leaf just for visual effect. We've come to the end of the episode and I hope you guys enjoyed this really fun and easy to make tutorial on how to make this feast inspired by our local dishes. And you know, maybe you guys can try this out while watching National Day Parade, like for your National Day party at home on National Day. As always, thank you guys for watching this episode and please remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more food-related videos. Happy Birthday Singapore!